hi everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a great day or great night depending on when you're watching this video if you are new to my channel welcome my name is desiree what i wanted to do is well go over a lot of stuff maybe close out the budget and all of that just pick up where i left off on this page right here where i was over by a whole whole lot and of course i ran out of room so i ended up going back to the month of august and tracking my expenses even though i've been away for a good week i haven't posted a video in a good week i have been tracking everything so this is it this is the rest of the tracking for september and I'm not going to go over it, but I am going to show you there eh, kind of a lot of spending, kind of not. Um, my mom did enjoy her birthday, so that was good. Um, we actually spent a week and got back Saturday. And yeah, I'm back at work today. This is my first day back, which is a Tuesday. And you all may see this video on Tuesday, but it may be late, but that's okay. At least it's posted right at the bottom when I calculated everything I had a hundred dollars left in fun for thankful I had 55.35 given had zero spending had forty eight dollars and four cents gas twenty four ninety one HBA had fifteen oh no had eleven seventy eight and for Travis, he still had that $5. When it comes to Bless, Jasmine didn't have anything. And altogether, I had $245.08. So if we get to the good part, my mom did decide she wanted to go to Buffet for her birthday. So we did go there. I actually only spent $36.84. And then I did give her 40 bucks. I actually bought myself some, um, they're like little candy cane sticks for $1.33. So all together on this same day, I spent $78.17 and I had $21.83 left. I also paid Capital One back from when I did give to LifeSide lifestyle i said life size lifestyle makes sense and here's all of that i also ended up filling up the gas tank for 42 dollars and 15 cent ended up with 12 dollars 65 cent left and then travis did use three of his well three of his five dollars and i'm just keeping up with my life insurance getting paid 175.62 and when we got back into town, I was almost on E. So I just stopped at a random gas station and got $12 worth of gas and drove on to the house. Of course, I did get gas the next day. And you will see that in next month's budget because that's where that money is coming from. Last but not least, I did pay the $23.05 that I owed Discover. I actually got a buffer in my checking account. It had $18.41. And I went ahead and took the $4.64 from Oh No, which left it with $7.14. So altogether, my checking account has $95.74. Now let's go ahead and close out so here are all of my no spends i only had two days where i actually spent everything else was from my cash envelopes and since today is the third i'm going to go ahead and close out the entire month since i do get paid tomorrow so i know this is kind of all over the place but to make everything understandable i am going to explain so when it comes to my first paycheck i did get one thousand three hundred fifty dollars and eighty eight cent when it comes to my second paycheck i got one thousand eight hundred twenty five dollars and fifty two cent for a total of three thousand one hundred seventy six dollars and four cent when it comes to offering i did send my sister three hundred thirty four dollars and fifty two cent when it comes to the bills, all the bills together did total up to $1,953.83. When it comes to cash envelopes, 
I actually spent $559.26 when it comes to the sinking funds I did save one dollar and seventy cent when it comes to the savings and this does include the christmas for seven dollars and some change altogether it was one hundred forty three dollars and thirty four cent for spot me from the first paycheck i did end up having to lose out on eighty dollars and a penny when it comes to the extra bills It wasn't any because I did take the amount for Netflix from my Navy Federal account. And when it comes to the overages, of course it was $43. That is not right. $439.74 from the first paycheck. And if we bring this down and subtract the rollover, which was $93 and $2. $93.74. Of course, I am going to send $2 to Ali and I'm going to put it in a no spin bucket. So, when you subtract everything, and let's see if I can go through everything with you. Let's see here. Okay, so we're doing three. And we're going to just subtract, and I am ashy, but that's okay. <laughs> so, 3, 4, 3, 5, 2, minus 1, 9, 5, 3, point eight three minus 5, 5, 9, point 26, minus 1, 70, minus 1, 4, 2, point 34, minus. I said I was going to put that one less. So as of now, without the overage, we do have a entire complete zero base budget. And when we subtract the 439.74, we get a negative 439.74. So as you can see by this, this does mean that I was able to keep up with everything. I actually thought that this amount here for the 40 cents was included but when i went through and double checked again it was not so it everything is perfectly tracked and correct so that's it for this closeout and let's see yeah that's it i was able to let's see how many pieces of paper that i use so one two one two and three four just for two weeks so this is it this is all i spent i do hope you enjoyed this video have a great rest of your day i have my budget written out for october so i need to make that video next and then when i get my paste up tonight i will go ahead and make my budget for the first paycheck of october bye